Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today what we'll do, we'll take a look at the design and production of this rear bike rack. We recently finished up a big project involving laser cutting and engraving pine and I had a bunch of leftover pieces so I decided to make myself a rear bike rack as you can see here. Now this is unique, I designed it just based on the scrap that I had and it has a polycarbonate top here which is essentially bulletproof glass so nobody's going to be shooting into the products that I put into here. It also has a foam inside of it that I laser cut. Here you go. And that's just because when you drive a bike you have a lot of bumping and stuff like that so it just helps hold things in place. And everything sort of interlocks. So you have uh, all the pieces going one into the other into the other and with glue and everything is held together that way. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at the laser cutting out this box with the leftover pine that I had. Thanks to our incredibly powerful CNC laser, which is behind me here, uh, we were able to cut through three quarter inch pine, no problem at all. Uh, the reason I didn't engrave it is because our shop here is actually nondescript. There's no signage, nobody will know that we are here. And the reason for that is because we have lots of equipment, lots of very expensive equipment, and most of our work is also NDA. So we can't tell people the work that we do. So it kind of works out to have no branding at all on the stuff that uh, I come in and out of the shop with. Uh, so this is why this is nondescript.
if you're wondering why I use the laser to cut this out, uh, it's just because it's a very efficient process. I can use the router, but you end up with a lot of chipping and stuff like that. The other advantage is I have incredible uh, capabilities with it because I was able to make the holes exactly where they need to be relative to the wood. So when it comes to putting them together, um, everything fits absolutely perfectly this way. Regardless of the project you do, there's always some scrap left over. Uh, so this was basically a piece of scrap that I turned into something useful. And based on that, I still had other scrap uh, from issues that I had uh, during production. Uh, the nice thing about pine is that it's very easy to work with. The problem with pine is it's very, very easy to break. So like this here. So what I did is with the scrap that broke while I was assembling it, um, I just made a whole bunch of coasters. This is the raw form of the coasters. So I'll play a video of the CNC router routering out coasters from the scrap from the laser, which was actually from another project. So we'll take a look at that right now. And now the final step is actually cutting out the foam. I didn't cut the foam at the same time as I made the whole box, just because there's a little bit of variance and I wanted a really tight fit. So it's easy to build something and then take your new measurements. Uh, there might be a couple mil off here, here and there, and then laser cut something that fits absolutely perfectly inside. Now generally, you don't want to be cutting foam with a laser, and the reason is this is incredibly flammable. The advantage we have at cncrr.com, other than an awesome CNC laser, 
is that we have a gas kit on it, which means that we're pushing compressed air down onto the project. So any flame that would sort of pop up and cause a major issue in the laser is actually blown out and downwards. We also have a vacuum table, which means that the flame or any combustive, uh, combustive material or uh, smoke and that kind of stuff is actually sucked out of the machine right away. Now, those are two things that we have. Another thing we have is a very highly precise machine. And the advantage to that is if you have a machine that starts going all, all wacky on you and you have something that's flammable in the machine, that's a, that's a good recipe for disaster. So we don't have those issues here. And when I got this laser, I optimized it perfectly uh, to handle any material, pretty much any size. And that includes foam, which I knew was very flammable. That also comes in really handy when we're doing wood, uh, let's say plywood, where you have very, very thin strips. Uh, that's very easy to catch on fire as well. Now, if you think about it, a laser is just a controlled fire going down. So all the steps that, that I took uh, to make sure that I don't have problems with the machine uh, when I purchased it um, pay dividends for all of the projects that we do. Now what we'll do is we'll take a look at the foam being cut out. And now you know how this whole box was put together. I put a blog post on cncri.com to show you how the design process behind the box before it was cut uh, was done. The advantage to our digital process is this is the first time this has ever been cut and it fits perfectly. So instead of doing something three, four, five, six times uh, in the physical world and doing adjustments to the measurements, everything at cncri.com is 3D modeled, which means that when we cut something and build something the first time, it works perfectly. The advantage to this is that let's say you wanted to go into production with this box. The customer would actually see what the box looks like from every angle. We could also do an animation, whatever else you want uh, as a digital proof of here's what we're going to build for you. I just want to show you what the box looks like in a little bit more detail. So it is definitely a heavy box and you can see the foam in there it fits absolutely perfectly. Now this is laser cut, which means that all the edges had to be uh, swiped just uh, with a damp cloth, to take off some of the charcoal that builds up. But otherwise, it's a fantastic box and it's incredibly strong. Uh, again, it is pine, so it's not something you want to throw on the floor. Uh, but for my, pr for my purposes, it's absolutely perfect. Now, if you wanted a box that was completely different, different shape, different size, different material, that's not a problem. Everything we do here at the shop is custom. So let's say you want something like this here done in a plywood or the whole box done a bulletproof polycarbonate, doesn't matter, we can do it for you. So if you have any questions, contact me and we'll get this stuff rolling.